In this video, I am going to show you how you can create your own Microsoft ad account without getting banned. Till today, if you are not able to create your Microsoft ad account, then this is the video that you need to watch till the end. And in case if you don't know, Microsoft ad keeps on running some offer, promotional offer, where you can get like currently, 50, if you spend $50 in Microsoft ad, then you will get up to $250 ad credit. And to find this kind of uh, coupon, you can simply search on Google Microsoft ad coupon and check out these sites. Okay. And for example, I found this coupon in this site that is don'tpayfull.com. And I just clicked on here and I was able to reach to this home page of the Microsoft ad. Now I can simply click on start now and start to create my Microsoft ad account and also be able to get this coupon. But before that, I want you to be focused on something. Okay so that you don't get banned while creating your account on microsoft ad if you are already uh, trying to create your microsoft ad account by using gmail or yahoo mail okay for example your name dot gmail dot com okay or your name at the rate yahoo mail dot com if you are using that kind of email address and you are not able to create your account then what i would suggest you to you is you create your own business email okay and i have uh, shown you step by step how you can create this business email by using namecheap okay i'll put the link of this video in the description of this youtube video you can watch that to create your business email however you can uh, also make your account by normal gmail or yahoo mail but in case if uh, you are not being able at any condition always your account keeps on getting blocked then you may try that also okay by creating your own business email and when you try to create your account by using business email then you will increase your chance of making your account without getting any banned okay and another thing that you need to be focused on is like if you see in my desktop there is one google chrome another google chrome and another google i have three different google chrome browser okay and you can get this kind of google chrome browser you can create multiple google chrome browser simply by searching on uh, google google chrome portable okay and just click on this uh, first link that apps uh, appears at your portable apps.com and then you can simply download this google chrome portable once you download and install which is extremely simple okay to download and install this google chrome portable once you download and install then you can simply log in your uh, gmail at this particular browser and use this browser to uh, log in and create add on microsoft ad okay so once you do this much then just open the microsoft ad account now we'll begin the process of creating microsoft ad account now there will be several things that i'll note or i'll tell you please do make note of those so that you can create your own microsoft ad account in a smooth way okay so now let's click on this start now and then put your email address at here this way then click on next now it says get a new one just click on this get a new one and then click on next now create a password that you can remember now just click on next you can save this id and password so in here you need to put your first name and last name so let's put your name and then click on next now it's saying enter a code that we have sent to this email so now let's check our email if we have received yeah we have received a code let's copy this paste it at here sorry let's copy it and paste it at here and click on next let's wait for some time so it is saying please solve the puzzle so we know you are not robot so and nothing is appearing at it so let's click on next so now it's saying pick one square that shows two identical objects so this is the two identical objects same object you this means so just click on here similarly again we need to uh, select two identical object and that would be this one so now let's select in the third that would be this one again in here so this should be now 
this will be okay so now once you do this much then your account is created so just click on don't show this again and click on yes now it says verify your identity just click on here and now again you have received a code just go to your email and click here and copy this code and then paste it at here sorry in not copied let's copy it let's paste it at here and click on verify so now you can just click on no thanks so let's wait now now it is asking us to create campaign directly so what we can do is firstly click on this skip campaign creation then it will ask about our business so now here is the thing that we need to feel a little bit consciously okay and i'm going to show you step by step how you can do it you need to fill out all of this information in uh, with the real information okay and do remember what you have filled at here okay just make the notepad or take a screenshot of all of this info so that if you somehow got suspended then you can use this information in, in order to get back your account once all of these information are completely filled then you can simply click on create account so now sometimes what happens they are not able to verify your address okay that's fine you don't need to take any tension just click on apply if this pop-up shows now you'll need to add your billing information so just select your country and just select prepay okay and then just select the uh, credit card or debit card then you can simply fill out this card no more expiration date security code name on card okay you can fill out all of this information and tick mark this also and then click on finish signing up okay i'll quickly fill this form and show you so once you have filled out everything properly then just click on finish signing up so right after trying to add payment method it says your microsoft advertising account is blocked and on review so now here people usually quit at here okay so you don't need to quit at here just click on this complete office form and give your proper time to fill out this form okay so put your name okay your email address your phone number that you have used previously and in case of website you can put some website that is already available on google like top 10 teeth whitening product or maybe uh, best flower site that kind of website you can put at here okay and in case of country and region select everything that is true okay put everything here and provide a brief business uh, description you can provide a little bit uh, describe about what you are trying to promote okay and be focused on the website that you have uh, posted at here okay so let's say uh, you have um, you have searched on google best teeth whitening products okay and there are lots of uh, like top 70 whitening product top 8 okay and you just select this website okay just copy their uh, link okay it doesn't matter you this website should not be yours okay that is no problem just and put that website at here and explain how you are going to promote this website in this kind of sections okay and provide sample keyword like in case of keyword you can type like teeth whitening products 2022 that kind of keyword i'll target you can say that okay and in account information you can put the uh, credit card or debit card info that you are trying to add in this account okay and provide any and just type I, I'm, I'm just new to this microsoft ad account i have been using google ads in past so kindly help me to get my this account back and after two to three days normally you will most likely get your account back and in case if you are not able to get your account back then what you can do is you can again download another google chrome portable app and then again repeat the same process so for now i'll quickly fill out this form and show you how i'll submit this information so i have quickly filled out this form as you can see here and here you can see i'm promoting several uh teeth whitening product i wrote that thing exactly at here okay and in keyword here this way i fill out this form and now i can simply click on submit so once you do this submit once you submit this form then you are done 
now within few hours 24 hour or 48 hour you'll receive an email with the decision that is made by microsoft ad and then if they allow you then you can start to run your ad on microsoft ad this much you need to do okay now just click on okay